WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 M update, and we've got a sea of green out there. We've got a rally. Rally on, Garth. You get all the sectors inside the S&P 500, trading the upside, all the U.S. indices that we track, doing the same. Dow's up 292, S&P 28, NASDAQ 67, Russell up 44 points. That's a 2% move, semi-65. Trendy's up 125 points. Gold's up 25 bucks. That's a 1% move, 3% for silver, 85 cents there. Light sweet crude is up a buck, trading out at 70 bucks even, Stephen. Natural gas down a penny. 30-year Treasury printing up four ticks, basically flat, at 126.15. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini. It's in the upper left-hand side. What do we know about it? Well, price is trading above. Yesterday, closed above the top of its daily profile. It's trading above it today, likely to go target its uh, TD9 count top at the 56.65 level. And that is especially a likely outcome with the spot VIX now trading below its 50-day exponential moving average. Closed below it yesterday, trading below yesterday's low. That would suggest that the VIX may be targeting a slower Bollinger Band, and that's at $13.10. We've got the NQ right now taking on trend line resistance. So this could be where you'd see some type of short-term top. We'll have to take a look at the NQ charts during the Trader's Edge show. If price is able to close above or move above this descending trend line, then we'd likely look at a move to 19.693. That's the top of its profile. U.S. dollar index is really trading in a sideways consolidation pattern, although that shows the uh, September contract. I need to put up the December contract. I'll take care of that later. In the case of Goldilocks, gold took out its TD9 count top on a daily time frame. It's trading in a, a number of different A to B equals CD patterns to the upside out there. We'll take a look at that. But basically, gold's in a full breakout mode, daily, weekly, and monthly time frame. Silver's trying to take out its TD9 count top. It'll accomplish that task today with a close above 3067. That would set up an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside for it. In the case of Lightspeed Crew, just a consolidation with inside its profile. It has support at 6618. Resistance up at 7075. In the case of natural gas, it has run into profile resistance up at the uh, 239 level. There's also a TD9 count breakdown resistance. I think that is at the price point of 242 out there. So that's really what you need to see price close above to suggest that natural gas is going to get into a breakout mode. And a 30-year treasury still struggling at its TD9 count top. It also has a new profile out there, the resistance level 126.30. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. Jump starts your Friday. Have a fabulous one, and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.